Hello, and you're all very welcome to our St. Clair's College website and our presentation on the CAO process. A particular welcome to our sixth year students and your parents and guardians. I know how busy this time is for students, and now in this month of January, you have the added pressure of getting your application for third level college in. But I would like to reassure you that the CAO process, and I'm particularly speaking to parents and guardians, is a straightforward one. It allows you the opportunity to explore many different courses, and now is the time to make a choice, a considered choice, and get your application in. A few key things to remember about the CAO, the Central Applications Office as it's known, is to ensure that you get your application in on time. And that's why this month, the end of the month deadline, the 1st of February deadline, is key. So please get your application in. Even if you're not sure as to whether you will take it up or not, it's important to have the application in so that when August comes, you have an option there. It is also good to know that the change of mind process, which operates up to the 1st of July, is also there. So I always think that's a bit of a safety net for students in making their decision now. They can amend it and change it later. And the golden rule of CAO is order of preference. So make sure that whatever you put down, first, second, that it is in your genuine order of preference. So give some thought to that. I know you've been working in your guidance classes and you are prepared for this and there's a lot of information out there. And please follow our careers Twitter feed, which gives you all the update information here. So thank you for joining us. I know you will find this presentation very beneficial. Hi, my name is Brenda Goldrick and I'm the guidance counselor here in St. Clair's College. And I'd like to welcome you to our presentation for parents outlining the CEO process. I hope you find it beneficial. During this talk, we're going to have a look at the CEO application, the Here and There application, the CESI grant, and lastly, support. Here, we're looking at the National Framework of Qualifications. At the minute, your child is studying for a Level 5 Leaving Certificate. Next year, they will be studying for either a level six or seven higher certificate or ordinary degree or a level eight honours degree, depending on what course they decide on. The Central Applications Office processes applications for undergraduate courses in Irish higher education institutions. It is important that your child makes themselves familiar with the CAO handbook before they make their application to the CEO. Here are some ways that you can help your son or daughter with their CEO application. Here we have the important application deadlines. The closing date for receipt of applications to the CEO is the 1st of February at 5.15 p.m. Please ensure that your child has their application submitted by this date. The CAO is essentially two applications in one. Your child will get the chance to apply for up to 10 level six or seven courses and 10 level eight courses. Both applications run independently of the other and there is a possibility that your child will be offered two courses, one from the level six or seven and one from the level eight. If this was to happen, your child will have to decide to accept either of the courses or they may decide to accept neither. In order to complete the application form, you should go on to the website at www.cao.ie and enter your personal details carefully. Once registered, applicants will receive an application number which you must keep safely 
This number will be needed for all future correspondence with the CEO. Have a look at the following two slides to see how offers are issued by the CEO. In order to receive an offer, your child must meet the minimum entry requirements as well as the minimum CAO points requirement. It is important that your child lists their courses in genuine order of preference as points requirements can vary from year to year depending on the popularity of a course in a given year. Accepting an offer is very simple. Your child can do so online up until the reply date and an accepting of an offer in round one does not mean that your child will be prevented from receiving an offer of a higher preference course in subsequent offer rounds should a place become available. If your child is entitled to this place, they may receive an offer which they can choose to accept or ignore. Should your child wish to defer an offer for a year, they can do so by following the steps detailed on this slide. For further information on the CEO, please visit the website at www.cao.ie and there is a section called Info for Parents where you will see lots of useful resources. Next, we are going to look at the Here and Dare schemes. HERE stands for Higher Education Access Route and it is an admissions route for school leavers who for social, financial or cultural reasons are underrepresented at third level education. The benefits of HERE is that it offers places on reduced points and they offer extra college support to school leavers who are eligible for HERE. Have a look at this slide to see if your son or daughter is eligible to apply through here. In order to be eligible to apply through here, you must meet the here income limit plus two other indicators from the previous slide. You can apply to here through the CEO website by the 1st of February. You must complete all online elements by the 1st of March and you submit all hard copies by the 15th of March. DARE is a disability access route to education and it is an admission scheme for school leavers whose disabilities have had a negative impact on their second level education. Have a look at the following few slides to see if your son or daughter is eligible to apply for DARE. To be eligible to apply for DARE, your child must meet the educational impact criteria as well as the evidence of disability criteria. You can apply for DARE through the CAO by the 1st of February. You must complete all online documents by the 1st of March and you must submit all hard copies by the 15th of March. Have a look at this slide for the DARE and HERE timelines. For further information on both HERE and DARE, please go to the website at www.accesscollege.ie 
And it is important to note that if you are eligible to apply for both here and there, you may do so. Next, we will have a quick look at the SUSE grant. SUSE provides students with full and partial grants, as well as maintenance grants, depending on the family financial situation. This slide shows the key eligibility criteria to apply for SUSE. In order to apply for SUSE, you can tick the SUSE option on the CAO application form before the 1st of February. However, if you don't do this, you can still apply for SUSE. The application for SUSE doesn't open until the 23rd of April 2021. For further information on the SUSE grant, please go to their website at www.suzy.ie. I would like to thank you for taking the time to have a look at this presentation. I hope you have found it useful. And if you have any queries or questions, you can contact me at Brenda Goldrick at stclairscollege.com. Thank you for watching our CEO presentation. I hope you found it useful. And if you would like to stay up to date on all guidance related activities, follow our Twitter page.